I think it's exciting that Messiah Lutheran Church has had this opportunity to be in the Fair Oaks community, to have this great spot of land and have the problem of going, what do we do with it now? How do we fulfill the things that God's called us to do? How do we actually uh, live out the mission that he's called us to live out? And it's not by building more stuff for us. We could find plenty of things to build for us. But he's called us to be a part of this community. He's called us to share this message that we say we truly believe in. This message of eternal life and, and being saved from all of our, our evil deeds and, and all of our mistakes and all of those different things. He's called us to that. And we're called to that in this community. And if we're going to share uh, that message of love and reconciliation with this community, the only way we can do it is by offering to the community everything that we have. Really, this is the only preschool in Fair Oaks right now. And that, the fact that it is as amazing as it is, it's not just the only place to go because of location, it's the only place to go because of the quality of the education here. The new building will be an asset to the preschool because the preschool can grow, um, which it so desperately needs. And we hear people tell us all the time how if we had all these classrooms, people would come, they would fill them, and we know that. Well, I think that this can be a real blessing, not just to Messiah and to the ministries that we already have and that we can develop because of the space in this building, but uh, for the community to use. I mean, right now, we double and even triple book our building for things like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, church meetings. Uh, we've had to, I've had to turn away a number of groups that have requested, you know, being able to use the facilities. And just as an example with the Scouts, we can accommodate their, their small den and pack meetings but when it comes to their bigger events, like their blue and gold banquet, they have to go off site to a different place, even though we are the sponsoring church, because we just don't have the facilities for that type of thing. Um, God told us in the Bible that where two or more are gathered, he's there. Uh, so the congregation is where it starts, but we've got to look outwards too. Uh, congregations and communities don't build by sitting in sanctuary. We have to get out there and be a community, and this is just one more place where we can do it with God at the center of it. So, you know, with, with the size of the school right now and, and, and the, uh, the message of the need for more rooms and more ability, I mean, you know, when we registered um, Kenzie for day school, we camped out overnight here. We were one of three people that made it into the TK program, which is just tells you the wonderful curriculum, the wonderful staff, the wonderful everything that this school has, and the need for more. Kinder at Messiah Kids and I teach here because all the teachers have the same love for learning and Christ that I do. There are so many children in our class that really illustrate that, what makes the school special. Um, they do that when they learn a letter and they're super excited or when they come upstairs singing chapel songs and they don't want to leave at the end of the day because their parents got there one minute early and they just don't want to leave. Messiah's Kids is so different. 
um, because I can talk about Jesus all the time. I love that. We can pray all day. We can say, why do you want to act this certain way? And it's because of Jesus or why you don't want to act a certain way because of Jesus. Teaching at a Lutheran school allows you to um, talk about God all through the day in all of your classes and all of your subjects. I am a teacher at Messiah's Kids because I grew really attached to the kids and the families and um, what I see the kids accomplish at this age. It's amazing. I never really thought that it would be truly teaching, but it is. I just feel like one of the gifts that God has given me is to relate to kids and to be compassionate with them and you know being that I am a mom of three and I have eight nieces and nephews I'm surrounded by it so it's very comfortable um, but you know this job was more than me wanting to come in and make a difference in their life I knew that they were making it in mine too. The um, biggest thing that I have seen and most encouraging is the number of parents that I come, on, come in on a regular basis and talk about how well the children know the Bible stories that we teach them week after week and how excited the parents are that the kids are singing the songs that we learn in chapel. And that's, that's really exciting and encouraging to me. We chose Messiah um, because we wanted a kind and like warming place for our kids to go. But what Messiah offered that this other preschool didn't was not only was it loving and kind and warm, but it also had that educational aspect to it also. I think the biggest um, compliment we've heard about this school and that we are in agreement with as well is just that the kids are so prepared for kindergarten. They leave here really with a great head start and ahead of the game when they go into kinder so that was a blessing for us and I think the biggest surprise is just the foundation that they got spiritually and just the love for the Lord that they received here that we've been able to build upon at home. Oh I love the teachers I think I've had every teacher here in the last two and a half years. The TK teachers are wonderful they prepared Remington for kindergarten he is kind of bored in kindergarten because <laughs> You know, he, uh, he knows quite a bit more than the average kindergartner, I believe. I just can't say enough good things about it, and it's only impacted our family and uh, my children in a positive way. And we've been here since the very first class, and I guess my son was two back in 2009 in the class of five, and um, we've just watched it grow each year. I did camp out. <laughs> I was that mom and I did camp out. Uh, you know, I just felt like, you know, we don't have kids at the school yet, but what I had heard about the program and specifically the traditional kindergarten program for Adam was just that, you know, it was leaps and bounds above any other program in the area and it would just be a really great fit for Adam. The church itself has seen our family go through changes and been there to support us and for me personally and and for my children as well. So it's just, it's been a wonderful experience and I'm really sad that my my last child is in her last year here and I won't, I won't be a part of the preschool anymore, but I'll come by and say hi.